Hey, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of Legendary Promo TV. This topic today, we're going to be talking about how to record vocals in FL Studio 11. Um, this has been brought to you by LegendaryBeatsOnline.com. <laughs> All right, so today, uh, uh, Chisel Beats, uh, he's one of the producers uh, I network with. Uh, I'll have his link to his music or YouTube page in the description below. Uh, he's one of the producers who asked me this question. Other producers have asked me this question as well, and I've, and other artists as, uh, who made a transition to FL Studio um, have been asking me this question, how to record vocals in FL Studio? Because I guess it's it's not just written in stone how to do it. Um, for the different people, they may do it different ways. But for me, I found a streamlined way that works for me, and I'm sure it will work for you as well. So what we're going to do today is just go into it. Don't want to keep you too long. Every time I say that, it's not going to be a long video. It ends up being, you know, 13 to 15 minutes long. So hopefully this one will be short. So I'm just going to do a lot of working instead of talking. Uh, so just follow me along. If you need to pause, just pause the video and review what I did. So what we're going to do is this works primarily with uh it works best if you have an audio interface the audio interface that i have is the focus right 6i6 um which is a great um interface uh if you could get the lower version i think is a 2i2 it all depends on what you need it just has more uh, less outputs but the 6i6 is beautiful it has uh, two headphone jacks two microphone jacks allows me to have artists uh artists to record what and i could also monitor what the artist is putting out as well um but here it works well with that because it automatically detects uh due to the um uh, what do you call drivers of the audio interface it automatically picks up uh for the mic one mic two so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to enter one or wherever uh you would have uh started your recording whichever track you want to use for recording i'll just name it recording vocals or whatever and then i should have color colored it i'll color it i usually color it red let's do that and oh let's do it all at once and also you can set an icon just in case and you could create a template for recording. Um, I already showed how to create templates in FL Studio. Uh, you could check out that video as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to choose the microphone. So I already have my microphone hooked up. It's currently the mic that I'm using to talk to you guys, um, which would be mic one. Okay, and this section right here, unfortunately you can't hear it because since I'm recording... Uh, the audio of the PC um, it's not detecting the audio of the interface as audio from the PC itself um, with this uh, screen recording software so I have to switch um, the audio um, sections but the inputs but you get the gist of it so this right here is a send um, this enable send when you do this for your when you're in FO studio you're gonna hear your voice doubled in your in your head in your hair headphones or speakers what's gonna happen is that it's giving you the real sound of your real voice coming out then it's also giving you the sound after it went after it went in and then now it's coming out output from the master so in order to stop it from doing that so you don't hear it twice in your mind what you could do is um, sorry for that my phone is going off this bad what you could do is you uncheck that because you don't really need it. Once you have your vocals loud enough by using your audio interface, you can raise the volume as needed so that you can hear it in your in your headphones and then lower the beat that you're using to record over or whatever um, to compensate. So once you do that, pretty much you're all set. I like to go into song view. Uh, it doesn't work well in pattern view, but you go into song view, you just click at the top here. That's where you're going to go into the playlist. And this is where all the magic happens. So you're going to hit record and then you're going to hit play, which is going to count down. Um, as you can see right now, this is my audio coming through FL Studio. And as clear as you're hearing me now is as clear as it's coming through um, the audio interface from my mic. And I'm using a regular stage mic. It's nothing spectacular, um, but it does depend on your room. It depends on what treatment you have. Uh, you know, some rooms are quiet, some rooms need treatment, some sections of your room you have to touch up. So I can't guarantee that you'll get the same sound quality. 
and that's up to you have to do more research than that and ask for another video so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and start recording test 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 this is a recording of the legendary beats how to record an FL studio recording <laughs> oh, that was tacky yeah all right. sorry for being such a jerk on that yeah I won't do it again but yeah that was just a little test so let's listen to how it's gonna work so as I told you before I have to switch this uh, so that you can hear it to line out but if you were doing this yourself all you have to do is use your um, audio interface and you'll hear it live but for sake of this video since I have to do it this way due to the um, screen capturing software that I'm using uh, I have to do this so you can hear it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uncheck that rec uh, record option then I'm going to hit play test 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 this is a recording of the legendary beats how to record an FL studio recording <laughs> oh, that was all right and that's it you just recorded in FL studio now you can do this on top of a beat if you have any um, beats uh, let's see if I don't know if I have any um, I mean <laughs> that's stupid I said I don't know if I have any that makes no sense um, so let me just go into something fast I just don't know which one to choose uh, so so pretty much the audio you want to record over audio you can do that I mean over uh, instrumental you can do that as well so since you guys I know you're gonna want to see that um, oh I probably would I wouldn't be able to hear it because of the audio. but actually it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be saying anything that makes sense anyway so I'll switch it back for you guys so you could see it over an instrumental so you know that I'm not lying to you um, you're going to hit save you have to hit this save button I didn't mention this before because it does it automatically when you do it the first time but you have to hit this save button every time you're going to do a new recording I don't believe it does it without that um, let me check test 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 and let me see no as you can see there's nothing there so every time you choose to record you have to make sure you hit that um, little disk button that used to be an A drive back in the 90s um, uh, but you have to hit that disk button to show that you want to save that content that's coming in and then you're gonna make sure this is at mic one you're gonna hit record you have the instrumental that's been loaded in you're not gonna hear it as yet because as I told you I have to switch the uh, sound input here we go Test, 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 All right, I'm not a singer. That was terrible. But for sake of the video, I know I could do this in front of you guys because, you know, y'all like me. But here we go. Test, 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 test. And now pretty much you could treat that sound as a regular sound. You can do whatever you want with that. Uh, add it to the mixer, whatever. And that's it. Thank you for viewing this tip on how to record vocals in FL Studio 11. Um, question of the day. Uh, I would love to know, now that you know how to record vocals in FL Studio 11, would you now start using FL Studio to record your vocals, knowing that you can most likely get the same quality as using any other doll oh, let me know I'm out leave your comments below if you love this video please like and subscribe and share with any other artist friends producers friends that may need it thank you so much keep your eyes out for my next video peace I am out